So let's say we've got a storage tank here. The height of the storage tank is 10 meters and the radius of the top is 4 meters. So in this video we're going to look at the volume of a cylinder. Well a cylinder is a special type of prism. It's a prism because the bottom is the same as the top. It's just that the bottom is a circle. So volume is always, volume of a prism is always the area of the base multiplied by the height. And so looking at this question, when we have a cylinder, the base is a circle. That's a circle down here. And so remember the formula for finding the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared. So the radius in this case is 4. The top will be the same as the bottom. So that's pi times 4 squared. So getting the calculator out, pi times 4 squared, pi r squared, would be 50.27. So the area of the base would be 50.27 meters squared. So that's how much area the bottom is, and I just need to multiply that by the height because this circle has been stretched that far. So volume is area of the base, which I now know is 50.27, multiplied by the height, which is 10. So multiplying by 10 just moves the decimal to the right one. So that's 502.7 meters cubed would be the volume of this cylinder. Let's look at another example. Here's another cylinder. This one just happens to be on its side. So here's the, we'll call this the base, and then this would be the height. So the same shape on the bottom, we'll call this right side the bottom, and the same shape on the top up here. So volume of any prism is area of the base multiplied by the height. So the area of base would be is a circle. The circle has an area of pi r squared and then we got to multiply this by the height. So the base being a circle, the radius of the circle would be 6 because the diameter is 12. Remember the radius is half the diameter. So we're looking for that distance there which is actually 6. So that's pi times 6 squared that would be the area of the base times by the height. The height of this cylinder is 9 centimeters squared. So I'm just going to go straight to the calculator here now. and I'm going to enter this all in one string. So there's the pi times 6 squared. So that part would represent the area of the base multiplied by the height which is 9. And so I'm just going to get one answer here and write this down. So 1017.88 and I believe we went with centimeters here, centimeters cubed. So this is how we can find volumes of cylinders. They're just a special kind of a prism, and so we do the area of the base, which in this case will always be a circle, and we do that by pi times the radius squared, and then we take that answer and multiply it by the height, and we'd have the volume, how much space the cylinder is occupying.